All right, if you have around $135 for Outlaws of Thunder Junction, what should you buy? Should you buy a Play Booster box for $135 or three bundles, each $40, so in total it would be $120. Uh, we will figure this out today, so welcome back to TCG Love and let's crack open a bundle first. I will compare where you can pull more valuable cards from. Where do we pull more Rares Mythics from the Play Booster box or from the three bundles? I'm gonna put two bundles to the side and immediately start opening this one. Obviously, if you look at um, dollar per play booster, you would go with the play booster box. Uh, in the play booster box, you have 36 play boosters, while across three bundles, you would get 27 play boosters. If we do the math, you will pay $3.75 uh, per pack in the play booster box, while you pay $4.44 uh, per pack in the uh, across the bundles. So, yeah, price per play booster would be the play booster box but maybe you get lucky with the bundles and you also get some basic lands and the buns and of course this box so you might think this might be worth it for you or not um but we will ignore the box for now we're only gonna look at the card values and i will be scanning each rare and mythic and the first rare is the key to the vault that shouldn't be worth anything and i will be using my scanner to tell me how much value we pull from these three bundles first card is 52 cents and then we get also these basic lands which only come with the bundle obviously you can also pull some of these from the play booster box but we're gonna ignore this too all right so the first nine play boosters i'm gonna open them and while i open them let me tell you about the sponsor of this channel games island Games Island sends me each set some free products as part of a sponsorship and I decided long ago that all of that stuff that Games Island sends me goes to you guys in my giveaways. I'll be doing, oh we got the basic land here. I will be doing a giveaway after I open all that stuff that is on my desk you saw earlier and I will be giving away a Fallout collector booster box, a Thunder Junction play uh, collector booster box and the Thunder Junction play booster box. These three products are part of my next giveaway and I will be opening packs from these products and distributing cards across my viewers. And the only thing you have to do to participate in the giveaway is leave a comment to claim the coins from this video and try to claim as many coins as possible from future videos. You always have time to leave a comment until the next video is uploaded to claim the coins. Three steps ahead. Let me quickly scan these. Two dollars, the first card above a dollar, so that's sellable. Skull crack, and as you can see, the scanner only counts cards above a dollar because those are the ones that I will be selling. Uh, the card scanner is called Mana Box, by the way, for anybody who's interested. So, yeah, uh, leave a comment to claim the coins. The more coins you have, the higher the chance of winning in the giveaway. And uh, then subscribe to the channel if you want to participate, and that's it. And then uh, you participate, and you have a chance of winning some cards. Oh, we got loot, the key to everything. Now I'm really curious if this is worth anything. Let me quickly finish this. $1.49 for Blooming March and loot, the key to everything. The new Magic the Gathering mascot looks really like League of Legends, you might think, because I think the artist is a key artist for League of Legends. I don't really like this style for Magic, but I don't mind so much like maybe some other people. $3 for loot, all right. I'm really interested where this loot story goes. I guess it, that's why we go to Bloomborough next set, because of loot, that's what I would uh, guess, but yeah. Uh, so yeah, Games Island, thank you very much for sending me free swag. Guys, please, if you want to support me, the channel, give it Mirror of the Wilds. And bigger giveaways in the future, if you want to support that as well, please check the link in the description to Games Island, there's an affiliate link. Um, click it, check out Games Island, you can buy Magic the Gathering products there, or Yu-Gi-Oh, or your Pokemon stuff. And it's really cheap, the cheapest site that I found, I always buy them myself, so I'm really happy that they decided to sponsor me. I asked them, they said, cool, I like your channel, let's go. So yeah, if you want to support me in Games Island and bigger giveaways, please check the link in the description to uh, the elevated link. And yeah, if you want to buy some Magic the Gathering products, maybe you have $135 and... You want to spend it on Thunder Junction. Um, consider buying it there, it would really help me out. So, thank you very much, Games Island, and let's keep going with this. All right, we got Holy Cow here. I actually played Holy Cow in my pre release. Oh, Slick Shot Show Off. This is a really cool card and valuable. I wonder if the price dropped. I think it was eight bucks in the beginning. Ten dollars. It even rose. 
Bruce Tall Roving Rancher in foil. All right. Worth nothing. So that goes into my collection. And let's go. I'll skip all comments and uncomments. I don't know if there's anything worth here. Calamity, Galloping Inferno, or also had that one in my pre-release deck, but well, in my pre-release pack, I didn't play it actually. I thought it was a little bit too slow. Maybe that was a mistake. Maybe it was a really good card. Would have saved me maybe a game or two. All right. Can't wait to play some pre-release, well, sealed on Magic Arena to get the know the set a little bit better and then some draft. Two cents. Uh, collector's Cage. Uh, from the vault, no. The big score. There's three different set symbols that you can find in these play boosters. The big score is one of them. Used to be an epilogue set for the set, but last minute they decided to cram it into the main set since nobody cared about epilogue the first time, I guess. Inspiring Vantage. I actually really enjoyed the epilogue set for much of the machine. Not because it was an enjoyable experience, you couldn't play with it anything, but the cards were really valuable. I really made back a lot of dollar, a lot of money that I lost during March of the Machine, so and that was really nice. All right, the first bundle we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 rares with the first bundle. And we hit $22.24, so that's we lost half our money with that bundle. And let me quickly move this to the collection and see if we can get more lucky with the second bundle. Oops. So there's exactly the same thing in here, the same promo card and nine play boosters. They're really stripped down on the bundle, I think. With Ixalan we at least got a Jurassic World card, a guaranteed one. Last few bundles we get nothing. Even these two rule cards are actually advertised on the bundle bag. Can you believe that? Two reference cards. At first I thought, oh, what is that? Two reference cards? But it seems like <laughs> these two rule cards are the ones. So I'm not gonna... Well, maybe let's scan this one. If the scan is gonna pick it up. Alright. It's below a dollar, so it doesn't really matter for the total. But let's scan it either way. 52 cents for the boat for here. Actually, it counts to the rest. So let's open the next nine boosters quickly and then get to the play booster box at the end. We got Kambal Pro Fetiering Mayor as the first ray here. 53 cents and the breaking news card Decimate. So you, you saw it already, right? Uh, the third set symbol Breaking News. And oh, actually, you can get four different set symbols and get also special guests but yeah breaking news cards are reprints from all the cards and they are always themed around crimes assimilate assimilation agus i don't think this is worth much dollar 44 so yeah all breaking news cards are crimes so they target something either the player a creature that's at least how i understood it Let's skip to the rest. Smuggler's Surprise. That's the first time I pulled this one, I think. Now I saw this. Let's see. It's worth something. Two bucks. Not bad. And we got the foil breaking news card. The foiling on these is really cool. Almost has a textured foiling look to it. Can't wait to open my next collector booster box as well. And hope to get some texture foils there. Oh, Blooming March. One of the... How's it called? Panorama Land Set. I'll put it to the side. Actually, well, I have to scan it. Three bucks. I put it to the side. Maybe we can find some other uh, Panorama Lands and then put them together. Tarnation Vista. A Mythic. $4.26. And a third rare Detention Sphere. This pack was really nice. Detention Sphere is worth nothing though. And we got Prickly Pear in Foil. Also like this artwork. I like this creature design with the cactus creatures. They're really cool. Plant mercenary. And got an art card in the end. Alright. Got a bounty. No, there's plot. No, there's not a bounty. I actually forgot when making my commander deck video to mention the bounties. You get some special cards in the back there. High noon. I think this might be worth something. I like the artwork on this one as well. Pretty cool. 
37 cents. Nope. And nothing else. Basic land forest. This is really cool. I was really gushing about how much I like these full art lands in the first video. You can check that out, my play booster video. And to my surprise, all the comments, like 50% of the comments, also were gushing about the lands. So I guess I'm not the only one that really lo loves these lands. No surprise, these are awesome lands, full art ones. So yeah. We can all agree that those are really nice lands, I guess. Wily Duke, a team hero. Oh, we got a mythic breaking news card. Contagion Engine. Not sure, maybe I pulled this one already and was worth nothing. Let's see. It's two bucks. Not too much, but take it. A foil planes. Awesome. All right, two packs left. Let's skip to the rare here. Dust animals worth nothing and nothing else. 27 cents. All right, last pack. We got Rakdos the Muscle in uh, just a normal version. A mythic, 94 cents. Really colossal. Really mirroring the the insignificance of Rakdos in the story, in my opinion. All right, that was the second bundle, and it's even worse than the first one. Thirteen dollars and four cents. Oof, oof, oof. So these bundles, if you get unlucky, you get really unlucky. On the other hand, if you get lucky once, you might even pay with the for the whole bundle with one card. A mana drain, for example, would pretty much pay for the bundle, not quite. But yeah, we got really unlucky with these ones. So the third bundle, third times is the charm. As people say, let me move all of this to the second collection. And then in the end, we can compare all of them. So again, key to the vault. And nine boosters and the same uh, die. They cannot even be some special chase die. Spin down, I guess. All right, last bundle. Will this one be in any way better than the first two? All right, let's get the rares straight out. Outcast, a trailblazer. Oh, we got some nice amount of rares. 21 cents for this one. Botanical Sanctum, that's at least a dollar. These dual lands are worth a little bit. No, 97 and 96 cents. Legion Extruder from the big score. A mythic. They're all mythic from the big score. Dollar eighty-one. And nothing else. All right. I wonder if they uh, they wanted to do an epilogue set. Had all of these. Well, in the first epilogue set you had a few commons or uncommons, right? And then some rares and mythics. I wonder if they did the same here. They had uncommons, rares, and mythics, but then decided to turn them all mythic when they scrambled into this main set. Because all of the big scorecards are mythic. Or maybe they just removed all the uncommons and only left the mythics and rares. Alright. I got the key to the vault again. And nothing else. Alright, this shouldn't be worth anything. 26 cents. We got Avon Interrupter, a really fun card. Also played this in my pre-release. Should be worth a few bucks. Three bucks. And nothing else. All right, the last few packs for the bundles and then we get to enjoy Malcolm the Ice. Five cents, Ion Ice. Two cents and nothing else. And then we can open the play booster box. I hope we can pull a special guest card. I haven't pulled it yet. Uh, Lothing Jasper Flint. Oh, Lost Gita. Ten cents. That must be worth something, right? The Gita is always nice. This is not a reprint from an old Gita, so I'm not sure how much this is worth. Eleven dollars. Not that I would know how much <laughs> a reprint would be worth. Lost Gita. I guess it's not a reprint. I assume maybe it is. 
Uh, Vraska joins up, should be worth anything. Yep, 19 cents. And nothing else. Alright, two packs left for the bundle. Is this bundle any better than the other ones? Maybe a little bit if we pull something nicer here. Tiny Bones, the pickpocket. There we go, one of the more valuable cards, I assume, in this set. That's a really cool card as well. $13, there we go. Not quite there to pay off the bundle, even with two really big hits. So even if you get lucky, you can sit on some money. Ah, I'm gonna turn off the sound here. Archmage is mute, four cents. And Bedevil, four cents. Nope. All right, still didn't make it, even with two big hits with this bundle. Let me count the rares. I forgot to count the rares here, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Sixteen rares slash mythics for this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Not sure how much it was in the first one, but around fifteen rares per bundle. I guess that's what you can expect. All right, that was the bundles. Pretty weak, pretty weak. Let's open the play booster box. And I hope this time we get really lucky with this one. I had solid value in the first play booster box that I opened, but let me put all of these together, whatever. Right? No, I have to put them up on card market so I cannot mix them. Let me put them to the side here. And this play booster box on top. I guess that's fine. Eh, let me put them out of the out of view. Alright, let's go. The play booster box. 36 play boosters we get in one of these boxes. 135 bucks. Let's see if we can pull 135 bucks worth of cards from this one. Botanical Sanctum and nothing else. Alright. Oh no! Wait, I have to remove this one again. I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. Remove Botanical Sanctum, add to bundle 3. Let's go. Botanical Sanctum. 96 cents. Nothing else. Skip the rares. Hell to pay. That's a really cool card, but I don't think worth much. And Sword of Wealth and Power. There we go. Already beat one of the bundles. $40 for that sword. Already pulled three of those swords, so they seem to be not that rare. Or I get really lucky. Malcolm the Ice. We got four rares in one pack, I think, right? 20 cents. Rare slash mythics. That was quite a pack. You can get up to four rare slash mythics, I think, from a pack. That's the max. So we got really lucky with that one. Inspiring Vantage. And I do land, so at least a dollar. Path to Exile. Sure. Card that is reprinted every set. 21 cents. Next one. Alright, $16 for the first three packs. Honorary Tumblewag, two cents, and oh, we got a foil, dual land, Spire Bluff Canal, and I really like the artwork on this one, looks pretty cool, so the foil must be worth a lot, five bucks, five bucks, I consider a lot, all right, what do we have here, step between worlds, Shouldn't be worth much, two cents. At one point I will know how much a card is worth or not. And then I can just skip them, not even scan them. We get, oh, Caustic Bronco. I think this might be worth about a dollar. It's not a bad card. 80 cents, close, close, close to a dollar. We got Resilient Roadrunner. There's a Roadrunner and a Coyote card. that do some kind of panorama artwork together. The key to the vault again, that's worth nothing. Greed's Gambit. Another, oh, we got two mythics in one pack. 83 cents for this mythic, oh boy. So maybe <laughs> maybe this used to be an uncommon in the in the epilogue set. Then it turned into mythic. Crime and Punishment, I also don't think worth much. 31 cents. Two mythics, both worthless. Damn. 
That was unlucky. Unluck inside a luck pack. All right. So Toro the Infiltrator. I don't understand. Is four dollars for the Toro? Really? Did he rise in price, or was he always worth something? Forty-six cents for that one. Um, was the Toro part of the crew? I thought the Neon Dynasty or well, the Kamigawa ninja had a different name from the story final showdown two mythics again final showdown is 10 bucks yeah nine dollars and omen path journey look at this that's really cool artwork so jason oraska jace was undercover the whole set this whole story then he revealed himself snatched up this creature loot from the vault and then peaced out with raska that's how i understood it three bucks for journey uh, omen path journey that's really cool. And we got another rare in this pack, foil one. I don't think this is worth much though. So yeah, I guess Jason, Raska and Loot went to Bloomboro. So I'm really excited for that set. Bloomboro is such a beautiful set. Man, I'm really hyped for that one for a long time since they teased it last year. That's gonna be an awesome set, I think. I really like Creatures. We, the last few sets were more humanoid. We got, um, of course, cowboys here. Before that, murder mystery was really. Uh, the attention was really on humans. I like sets with more creature designs. Icoria was my really my favorite set for a long time, and I hope Bloomboro can uh, can become my new favorite set. We'll see. We'll see. If they. Get the style right. Ariette the Beguiler. Beguiler, is that how you pronounce that? Four cents. And nothing else here. Alright. Another assimilation Aegis mythic. I think this was worth below dollar, right? No, dollar forty-four. Good thing I scanned it. I already want to skip it. But man skipping mythics. <laughs> That's insane. Alright, we got Colossal Rattle Worm, and I think we got a special guest card be behind it. It is Port Razor in Special Guest Showcase. Special guest cards are really always really beautiful artwork wise. Uh, OTJ Special Guest says it down there. Zoltan Boros is the is his name, Boros? Damn, that's an epic, <laughs> that's an epic uh, last name. Let's scan Rattle Worm first, worth nothing. And let's scan Port Razor. And hope that it's worth something. Three dollars. All right. When special guests were first introduced in Ixalan, all of them. Well, actually, no. It's a lie. I wanted to say all of them were at least ten bucks, but there were few that are below. Magda, the Horde Master, but special guests with uh, Mercy Call of Manor were really cheap. Foil Forest, full art. Awesome. So I think they really nerfed the special guests because now you can use them in play boosters for draft or free release sealed. So they had to nerf them kinda. That's a little bit a shame. Ten cents. So if you pull a special guests uh, card, then you need to be lucky that it's actually worth something. That's my experience, at least from the last set. This set is the first special guest I pulled, so maybe it's gonna get better. When I open some more, Marquisar, Dealer of Death. 10 cents. And nothing else. Hellsburg Poss, Possy, Boss. 5 cents. And nothing else. We're being quite unlucky with the few tags here, the last few ones. And we are not even close to half of the play booster box value. Well, it seems uh, like we already half through the box. Two cents for Primal Might. Pretty cool artwork. Worth nothing though. All right. We need to get lucky. Come on. 
double down and mythic. I don't think worth much. Totsies though should be worth quite a bit. $9.59 for Thoughtseize. There we go. Cool artwork. And Kervek the Punisher, a third rare in foil. The foil one is worth nothing either. Alright, we got lucky with Thoughtseize there. A little bit annoying that most value is in reprints for this set. Rush of Dread. Actually, that's also not true. We got quite some uh, from the vault, uh, the big scorecards. Nexus of Becoming, that are worth something. $1.53 for this one. Let's go. Hellspur Posse Boss again, and I think we already had that one, right? Yep, there he is. So I'm not gonna scan him. Insatiable Everest. Three bucks for that one. What's that supposed to be? An eye? Is that a jaw? Jaw? Some creature with a coin eye. Alright, how many coins do we guys already have? Around 10, I guess. Close to 10, maybe. Three steps ahead. Two dollars. Blooming March. Double fifty. And nothing else. All right, we are still not halfway there with the value. We really need some bangers here to save us. Campbell, uh, profiteering mayor, and tarnation vista. Is that a banger? I think I pulled this already, so it shouldn't be four dollars. Not too bad. And crackle with power, another mythic. I have to say, these play boosters are way more fun to open than with the last set. I think they increased a little bit the the rate for uh, rare semifics. I'll count the rare semifics and divide it by the price for the play booster box. Slick shot show off. Of course, if you want ten bucks for this one as well. Uh, if you want to kind of see all the cards that I pulled, all the rare semifics, you can check my Google sheet in the description. There you will find everything that I pull, and then you can do your own math, and then you can decide yourself if a product is worth for you or not. I'm putting there how much I sell the cards for, etc. It's a really nice data that takes me a lot of time to compile. So, um, yeah, if you're interested, check it out. We got a coyote here. Tiny Bones, jo uh, Tiny Bones joins up, always mispronounce that card with tiny points. Alright, how many packs do we have left? Nine? Nine or twelve? Great Train Heist and Outlaws. A dollar. Five cents. Nothing else. Can we get a mana drain at least? Uh, Duelist of the Mind, that's a really cool card. Rest in peace. Doll 92. Um, this is a card, I think this is... I actually ha should have researched it. This card was designed by the winner of the Pro Tour. So that's his face, that's why it looks like that. Rest in peace. This looks expensive. It isn't though. 42 cents. Decimate. It's worth nothing. And nothing else. Oh, we got Oko the Ring Leader. That's nice. That's at least five bucks, right? Should be five dollars thirty-two for the one of the two planeswalkers that you can pull from the set. The other one being Jace. Oh, I already scanned it. All right, Dust Bowl. I heard a lot about this one when they previewed the set, so worth nothing though. Ninety-five cents. All right, how many packs? Two, four, six packs. Six packs left. Let's see, Tali, uh, Joaquin, perfect shot, two cents, and nothing else. All right. All 
Oh, there we go. Jace reawakened. Yeah, it's actually not from the big score set. It's actually from the main set, so that's weird. Jace reawakened. Cool. It's the first time I pull him. So yeah, Ashiok was always Jace. I'm not sure, was Ashiok introduced before March of the Machine? Um, I didn't really know, I don't, I don't really know the story before that. Uh, so was Jace always Ashiok or did he just pretend to be it? Ashiok for this set. $12 for Jace, awesome. But yeah, Jace is back, cool. And he is quite valuable, 12 bucks for Jace, that's not bad, that's pretty cool. All right, Calamity again, Galloping Inferno wasn't worth anything, right? So I'll skip it. And we got how to pay. Cool card. I don't think worth anything. I already pulled this one, right? And nothing else. We got a bowl, bill, token, butte, uh, claim jumper. All right. Is that worth something? 31 cents. It's a rabbit. And I think Wizard said they hide some Bloomboro critters across the past few sets. Maybe this is one of them. Clean jumper. And the last pack we get Obeka. All right, he, he is like 80 cents, 53 cents and nothing else. All right, so the play booster box worth $98.21. Not $135 again. I have to say, since Play Boosters got introduced, I never actually made our, my money back. Well, never. It's not true since I did it with the last pack, more or less. But those prices already dropped quite a bit. I first I opened the first Play Booster during pre-release, so those prices already dropped. So I'm not gonna make the money back on that one either. And with this one, it seems neither. So. Unfortunate, but let's count how many rares slash mythics we pulled. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty, thirty-one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. Let me focus. 41, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50, 51, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60. Am I counting even correct? I already got confused. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70. No, these are not rares. What am I doing? I got confused. What are these doing here? All right, I guess 60, 61, right? It was 60 on this one. 61, uh, let's count again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 31, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40, 41, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50, 51, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60, 61, 2, 62, all right, there we go. 62, if I miscounted, you can find the correct number in the Google sheet either way. 62 rares and mythics. Uh, so we got $135 divided by, is that how we do it? 62 divided by 135. So we got 0.45. That can't be true. 135 divided by 62. We got two point. 177 rares per pack, two rares per pack. Is that what we got here? Two rares per pack, 0 0.45 rares per dollar. So, um, 2.1 rares per pack for the play booster box. All right, we got that one done. And let's see how the products compare. Let me move this one to the play booster box collection. And we got $108 for the play booster box. And here are all cards below a dollar calculated in as well. 
so I guess it's a little bit more fair. 136.11 plus 16.86 plus 24.26. Um, the bundles made me back $77.23, the Play Booster box $108. But since the bundles were a little bit cheaper, minus 77.23. Uh, well, the bundles, the three bundles lost me $42.77, while the Play Booster box only lost me $27. So $20. The Play Booster box lost me $20 less. <laughs> so, congrats to the Play Booster box, it won today. No surprise, since you pay less money per Play Booster with this one. If you care about some basic lands or the spin downs or the boxes, you might consider buying uh, bundles if that's for you worth 20 bucks but yeah that's the video thank you very much for watching i'm not gonna drag it out any longer i hope you enjoyed this video i tried to do it fast this time even though it was a lot of product you got quite a few coins 100 maybe 18 coins not sure you'll see it on the top 18 coins so claim these coins by leaving a comment and then claim some more coins on my future videos. So subscribe to the channel to participate in the giveaway and see you next video. Peace out guys. Thanks for watching.